This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are okay. This is a video that carries on from the last one. We're on our way to, is it Am Amwich? I think it is. We got uh, 14 pallets to come off, uh, paved stone pallets to come off at Who Grays in Alnwich, I think they call it. <laughs> uh, so we're just on our way there now. So obviously last night I parked in that lay-by. There were no, no tickets or anything. So I was a bit concerned because it said four hours parking only. Um, but there's nothing I could really do about it because I was on maximum driving time in, in you know, I was on 9.50. So there wasn't a lot I could do uh, where I was parked on the lay-by in the previous video. So, um, yes, hopefully we don't hear anything about that. <laughs> so once we get this off, we head back to Chester. There was, unfortunately, a fire on a truck. Uh, it was a truck parked in a lay-by and the, the wheels on the back of, it looked like brakes or something on the trailer were on fire. And um, yeah, so I reckon we're gonna get caught in a bit of traffic going back to be honest with you, because I think that's going to cause issues. But, you know, we, we just have to see what happens with regards to that when it comes to it. I need to put a bit more Ablu in the truck as well. We're very low. I've got a carton in the trailer that I can put in. We'll have to put that in at some point. But uh, yeah, daylight is approaching. The sea or something is right next to us. I guess it's the sea. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna make our way to our first delivery point. Yeah, we're still about 15 minutes away from the delivery point, so I'm gonna crack on and I will see you there. See you in a bit. Okay, daylight is pretty much upon us now. Uh, no longer dark, which is good. See a bit more. <laughs> um, right, I'm not entirely sure which way to go in. I think I'm gonna take a left turn here. I think the road gets a bit narrower, but I don't think it's too narrow. I think it is gonna be a normal normal two-lane road, I'm hoping. We're only about a mile away. I think we go down here, turn right, turn left, then turn right, then it's on the left, if that makes sense. But we are officially off the main road. Tell you what, we went through a little village, I think. I don't know what it was called, but it had like a bowls pitch and I just oversaw the sea. And then like, yeah, it just looked really nice, to be honest with you. Really nice area. See if I can get it on the way back when it's a bit lighter out as well. Beautiful place though, North Wales. Beautiful. So yeah, we turn right here and then left where that bus is. Just keep an eye on where the bus is going. Bus is going left, I think. Not in the getting right. Okay, we've got a car coming on the right hand side. Clear on the left. Looks like a mine shaft over there. Right and left. Lovely. That bus was going right, but it wouldn't end again. Not to worry. 20 mile an hour limits now in Wales. It will mean deliveries take longer. There's a car coming, I think. Is there? I can't see. Yeah, there is. Couldn't quite see around the corner. I don't have corner vision. <laughs> but I could see reflection in the car of, of lights. So that's what I was looking out for. School here. So this school, it might be busy here when we leave, potentially. Bump. Ugh. Okay, we want to go right here. Car come in. There we go. And then we take the next left. I was hoping 
that if I could get here last night, I was hoping I could just park up outside, but I'm not entirely sure if there's enough room. I'll find that in a second, there would have been. One of the options was to just park up on this road, which I think might have been okay. Depends how quick vehicles come down, really. Got the van parked there. We want to park on the left. I'm going to get up on the curb a little bit, just so vehicles can get past me on this side. And then who grazes in here? We, we might be able to get let straight in. There's no big truck in there, but they've got their own trucks. There we go. Let's park here so we've got enough room to swing out and swing in if we have to. Right, let's go find someone and see if we can get let in. See you in a bit. Right, I've just spoken to someone, they said bring it straight in. Um, we're going to park in this, this hatch area over here. So, uh, yeah, there's the truck over there. We're going to walk back over there now. Go grab it, bring it on in, park it in that hatch area, and go from there. There she is. Let's go bring her in. Okay, straight in, we've got straps off. They've all been put away, I've just done that. Put this away now as well. And then uh, we're gonna put that other carton of ad blue in now, so it's done. Uh, I think we might need it, so might as well put it in now. Let's put you in. Hopefully then that'll do us for us today. Today being Friday, so um, once we go back to the yard, we fill it with our blue properly and uh, fill these cartons back up as well. In you go. Nice and steady. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a quick tip because I was let straight in, straps are off, and like the first one was taken off within seconds. So I thought it was going to be a quick tip, but uh, it's gone quiet. <laughs> It's gone quiet, but do you know what? It's quite nice weather today, quite like it. Oh, I should probably say this will be the last video I make on this phone I've upgraded. This I think this is an iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I've just got an iPhone 15 Pro Max. So I don't know, video quality might be a bit better. I don't know. I'm told that the video quality is quite good anyway. So we'll see what the new phone is like on the next video. Just what I'll let you know. Right, we are tipped. Just done some paperwork. And, um, okay, it won't start because I ain't got the key in the ignition. <laughs> Good start. Just filled it with Ablu, didn't I? Um, yeah, I just got tipped and uh, I was busy doing paperwork and I was really into it. And I was like, there, yeah, yeah. then all of a sudden my door opened. I was like, whoa, it literally scared the crap out of me. <laughs> he apologized. Uh, why does it say ignition plausibility error? Is that because I started it without the key in? Or tried to? Just gonna restart it and see what it says. Yeah, all good now. That sun is well and truly out, man. All right, let's put the old seat belt on. I just need to get out of here a second. I got something flashing on the dash, like it's doing an uh, like an exhaust heat thing, a regen. That's what I mean. I can't see anything on the left, so I'm just crawling out. Now I can see. Oh, that's a very tight exit. I need to take that a bit different. I need to try that turning again because I wouldn't have been able to get out. Mind this gate. Well, 
right, we're all clear. I just need to get further on the right hand side so I get more of a straight line out rather than bending too much, if that makes sense. Because the trailer wheels would have caught the end. Let's try that again. I basically need to get as tight as I can on this left gate. I can see a bit better as well now, so I'm getting it totally different angle pretty much. <laughs> Let's see, how, see if we can get out this time. We've got to go on the curb to get out. Yeah, much better luck. <laughs> That's a bit, a bit snug getting out of that one. A bit snug. Anyway. Yeah, what was flashing on the dash is gone now, so that's good. So we will crack on. It's two hours and 20 minutes. Two hours, 20 minutes to get to our destination. So we can get there without uh, having a break. Um, I have had a 15 minute break in there because they will, they didn't tip me for a while, did they? Uh, like I said, I, they started and then they stopped. So when they stopped, I put it on break. So I got a 15 in, so I only need to have half an hour later at some point. Um, but yeah, we can get all the way to our next delivery without a break. And then once we're tipped, find out where we're going and then we'll get a break somewhere on the way to wherever we're going next, I would have thought. Or we might even be able to get there. We'll have to wait and see on that one. That sun is out. I think that sun is going to be in my eyes most of the way back now, by the looks of it. Sunglasses well and truly on. Lovely jubbly. Uh, so the school is not busy because um, it's not quite school time yet, but it nearly is. So I'm glad we got out when we did. Otherwise this could be quite busy here. So that's good. That's good. Yeah, Anwich. A M L W C H. Anwich. Bump. That is where we are. We're on our way to, I think it's Windsford now we're going to. Near Chester. Go right and left. Oh, our sun is bright. The sun is bright. It's going to be in our eyes most of the way. <laughs> sun visor down. Anyway, I'm going to get cracking. I'll, uh, I'll see you shortly. See you in a bit. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Yeah, so yeah, I think this was it. The kids playground there. I think there's like a bowls pitch somewhere here on the left. You can't see it on camera, but there's like the sea is there. It's a beautiful view. Imagine living in one of these houses. There we go, there's the bowls pitch. Jolly fryer. Proper like, almost like a seaside town sort of thing. Beautiful place. I imagine this is really nice when it's like really nice summer weather. I need a holiday. <laughs> I haven't been on holiday in ages. The last time I took a time off was going to Formula One. That was obviously in England, so that's not really a holiday need a holiday next year i'm going on holiday i don't care i'm going we're going big next year me and the wife and the kids we're doing something big next year we've got we want to go on a cruise i reckon we will i need a holiday i really need a holiday but well, i'm pretty sure that that lorry i saw on fire was somewhere down here it would be on the right hand side if it's still here oh be surprised if it is gone by now because that'd be quick so i do think it'll still be there 
question is, how engulfed in flames was it? Is this it? Maybe? Got some beacons on the road. Well, this might be it. Yeah, that was it. So that trailer was on fire. Yeah, you can see the axle has been burnt out. Yeah, that trailer was on fire. They've obviously been, like, put it out, the road's back open. The unit and the truck that was in front of it is obviously cleared off, but that trailer's still there. <laughs> there, was definitely, uh, there was definitely a fire. Anyway, glad everyone's all right. That's the main thing, isn't it? I assume everyone's all right, anyway. Okay, onwards, uh, an hour and 40 minutes till we get to our destination. See you in a bit. Okay, you join me in Wins... Is it Winsford or Wimsford? I think it's an N. Winsford. Uh, we have got 12 pallets of paved stone to come off here, and then I don't actually know what I'm, go uh, what I'm doing or where I'm going from here. I haven't got a clue. Nothing's been said. We're not too far away from Bootle, High 10. If I were to guess, I would say something there. It could potentially be um, come down to a Redlands somewhere, Sharwell, or Leighton Buzzard potentially. Who knows? It could be any of them. Although it's quite far down there, I think, Leighton Buzzard. So we just have to wait and see. Uh, we'll find out very soon. Uh, this is a bit of a cool section of road. Very cool. Very undulating. <laughs> right, we're going to turn left here at this roundabout. I'm not actually going left of the roundabout, it's a specifically left turn. We're, uh, we're just a mile and away, just over a mile away from our destination now, so um, we will be there momentarily. It did look like on Google Maps when I was looking last night that it looks a bit narrow down there, I'm not sure. I think it's a case of like, you've got to do like a spin rooney almost. Go up, jackknife in come back on yourself and then I reckon it's a case of reversing back out if I were to guess take this round about nice and wide because we've got a car on the inside they have um, stayed behind us though so that's good that's very uh, very good of them to make sure they stay behind me I try giving them as much room as possible anyway just in case all clear on the right Straight over, starting to get a left. Ooh, on these trailer wheels. So yeah, we could have uh, parked up here last night and delivered this one first thing this morning. But it would have meant we had to do more driving today. Which is why the boss asked me to do it the other way around. So I got closer to the other drop first if that makes sense so uh yeah doing so probably saved us well probably saved us a good three hours driving to be fair at least laurie wants to turn down there as well question is now am i going to be in that laurie's way because like i said it looked a bit narrow down here My hazards on. Yeah, the lorry's following me in. I don't know where he's going, but I want this entrance. Okay, he's turning left now behind me. That's cool, because I want this entrance. It says, I think, no, it did say on Google to go and see someone first before driving in, but I can't actually see a sign here. That should do. But I think it's a case of reversing out and reversing back down there to drive off, I think, but we'll see. Right, let's go tell them I'm here. See you in a bit. Right, we're in. There's actually uh, quite a bit of space inside the yard, so we've managed to drive in and spin round, sort of coming up, up here, spun round, 
face that way so we can go back out the way we come in so that's good um they've started tipping us straight away but the good news is they started tipping us straight away the bad news is he's taking it all the way down there so it might not be that quick i don't know but he's coming back now hopefully no one's about to come off lovely we uh we've got two forklift drivers on us so they are coming off relatively quick now which is good and then we can drive out we've uh, just been told we're going to wigan redlands to get loaded uh, and that is going to gloucester today if we can get it off if not then back to the yard obviously we're going to try and get it off um that's always priority try and get the load off so but it depends on what time i leave here what time i get to wigan what time i get loaded and what time i leave basically um so i won't know until all of that's done plus i need to get a break in as well so yeah we'll do what we can do though right we are tipped well, how long have we been here for 20 minutes not bad 20 minutes it we got to have a break on the way up to wigan like i said earlier we're going to wigan now get loaded with um roofing tiles and then that's going to a gloss star will it get tipped today i don't know we'll see it's it depends on how quickly we get loaded so we've got a break as well it could go either way i've had a look at the place we're going to we're going to a uh, roof base in gloucester they close at four o'clock. My ETA. Down, go down. My ETA to um, Wigan, including the break. You're talking like half twelve, half past one. I can't see it happening to be honest. You need to be on blue. Thank you. I can't see it happening, but we'll give it a go. That's for sure. We will definitely give it a go. Uh, I also need to say, I've just had a message from my boss to mention on my social media. I've already put it on Facebook and Instagram. By the time this particular video goes out, it's going to be a few weeks after. But if you see a Harry and Sons truck parked up for the night, specifically in Avonmouth, where it appears to be happening, and the curtains are drawn, do not knock on that cab. Because um, you won't get the nicest of, of greetings uh, be it me or any of my colleagues it isn't acceptable to be knocking on truck doors to say hello when the curtains are drawn like I know I do YouTube I know it's you know to be expected that some people are going to want to see me but it, A it's not me it's not me you're knocking on the door of it's my colleagues and they don't want to be disturbed and quite frankly neither do I once my curtains are closed and secondly, the curtains are closed and it's half past 11 at night. It's not acceptable. Please, if you if you see a Harry and Sons truck, wave at us, flash us, say hello to us if we're out and about. Yeah, feel free. Take photos, you know, whatever. But don't <laughs> knock on the door when the curtains are closed. That is us saying we're done for the night. We're sleeping, we're resting. We don't we don't want to socialise with the outside world. We've just, we've just finished our... 14 15 hour shift and we've got to be up in nine hours time and that particular driver who got disturbed got disturbed at half past 11 and he had to start work in about three hours time he he was starting very early in the morning he woke him up at half 11 he couldn't go, he couldn't go back to sleep and then he's tired for the rest of the next day isn't acceptable whoever it is please stop we're asking you very nicely very kindly you know whatever I, i've parked at Avonmouth and i've heard people honk their horns as they go past I think it, I don't know if it's the same person, I don't know, but whoever it is, please stop. That's all we're going to say. Uh, it's not acceptable. Anyway, moving on. Let's head up to Wigan and uh, go get loaded very quickly with, uh, with roof and tiles and we can get back down towards Gloucester as quickly as possible. We've got to pass Gloucester anyway to go back to the yard, so if we can get it off, we will. If not, then um, back to the yard, but we'll see. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we are in Wigan. Just got our paperwork. Just walking back to the truck. There she is. So yeah, what we do is we get loaded and as you can see that truck was strapped up. You come back out onto this road, and you strap up down here out of the way. Um, so we've got to do that. I've put the destination into the sat nav of where this is going. It says half past three. Google says they shut at four o'clock. We're not even loaded yet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume this is delivery for Monday now. Not for today, but the boss did say Monday if need be. 
Right, so jump on up. Take my shoes off. There we go, look. So, yeah, half past three, look. Plus, we will need to get a break in on the way down as well. So, yeah, that would definitely be a delivery Monday, I think. Engine on. Right, let's go get loaded. Okay, we're fully strapped up. You can't see, but we are fully strapped up. Here's a shot from that side, look. Strapped up, corner boarded, all ready to go. Right, you joined me almost four hours later. Um, we are back in Swindon and just around the corner from the yard. As, as expected, there was no way it was getting delivered today. Um, I phoned them up when I was in Wigan and they said the latest they would take a delivery would be three o'clock. And the ETA, bear in mind, hadn't even got loaded yet, was half past three. So it was a no brainer. It wasn't going to get delivered. Plus then I was there for at least another hour strapping up and getting loaded and whatnot. So yeah. Um, that was a, like I said, a, well, a no-brainer. <laughs> so we've slowly made our way back. We had a bit of traffic on the M6. The time now is quarter past five in the afternoon. Uh, actually, no, it's 20 past five now, sorry. As you can see, it's dark. It's pretty dark out. So I don't know who's in the yard. I don't know whether the wash is out. I don't know anything until we get there. We'll wait and see. Uh, I need to get our blue, wash the truck if I can you know hand in paperwork and whatnot i think we've got like a checklist of things that need to be done now as well so um yeah i'll uh, get all that done and then come back to you on my phone and uh say bye to you <laughs> but i don't know how long we're going to be here for we would probably be here for an hour or so i would have thought but who knows 20 past five now i'll see you in a little while right we are finished, filled it with our blue. That's all we've done actually, dropped the trailer, filled it with our blue, hitched back up to the trailer, and then we've just been chatting. Um, what time is it? It's, um, it's actually seven o'clock at night. We've been here a while. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the day finished. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Like I said, it's been a, this has been over a couple, of, uh, di a couple of videos, this vlog and the last vlog. It's been a couple of days for me. It's been a bit of a run. Park the furthest away in the in the yard in the car park. Yeah, it's been a couple of days for me, a couple of videos for you, lots and lots of miles covered. But uh, we got the job done. We got back. Everything was done safely. All the loads were delivered. Happy days. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, drive safe. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.